Welcome to dunsthoney.com.au. Today I want to speak about our ventilated beekeeping jacket. I've got two examples here, one with a round type bale, another one I'll get to in a minute with a fencing type bale. The ventilated jacket, similar to the suits, of course being half size, the big feature being the ventilation panels. Here on the front you see the two ventilation panels on the side and of course the big ventilation being on the back where a lot of your heat gets, uh, gets removed that way. The jackets is, a, is another one here with the fencing type bar. Now this is probably the most familiar type jacket to most of you, particularly beekeepers out there of course, uh, which is the fencing type bar. These bales are interchangeable, so they come off simply with the zipper system. If you look at my other video the, I have online there, you see I go through the process of that. But there basically is the fencing type bale, and that goes on thus. I'll just put this one aside. So, what I'd recommend is those with only one or two hives or, or just an a amateur hobby, I'd probably recommend going the round type bale, safe sun hat, uh, and the reason being is well if you're in and out of your vehicle, it does tend to catch up on the back of your, your neck there, whereas the fencing type bale, basically as you zip it off, it will sit flat against your back like that and you can jump and drive your vehicle, not a problem. Some of the features of course here, um, one thing I do is I put a bit of extra padding in the shoulders, that's why if you get a bit wet or still get a bit hot up there, the bees don't sting through your shoulders. So that's something, that's something as well. Very strong material as you can see. It's like a very thick cotton. Uh, there you see as well the, the, uh, the Velcro flapping. Very thick. Two zipper system that tucks away. The other zipper comes out like this. And there's your, uh, your veil comes away like so. As you can see, very strong double zip, and as I said, that then takes away, and you can swap it with the other particular bale. Zipper on the front as well, simply un unzips like that. And as you can see, there's your ventilation there. You see how thick that is? There's no way a bee sting is going to get through that much material. So that's uh, a big foam. I can feel the breeze coming through there now. Okay, so they put it on. We just simply put it on similar to any other jacket. Like so. You have the elastics on your fingers as well, which is, this helps when you're putting on your gloves. And we just simply zip it up. Like so. There we go. So that just zips up like this. Now, the, the bale itself, you feel for it at the back here, and it takes a few goes to get used to it, but you feel for it there, it goes on, that just sits on the crown of your head like that. Now, the rings, the ring pulls you'll find are at the back here, just feel for those and they just slide around like that. Okay, you zip that up, you put your uh, Velcro flap down, and there you go, that's it. That's it in a nutshell. Basically, of course, you'll wear the long pants unless you're, unless you're brave. Uh, but yeah, now the glove system as well, I, I wear a medium pair of gloves. I have gloves and these are sold separately with a small, medium, large, extra large, double XL with a really big hand and so forth. These, the gloves will stretch a little bit as they as, you, as they wear in, of course, it's very supple leather uh, to give you a good feel for the, uh, for the bees and your frames and so forth. Okay. I think this goes right up your arm there. Now, look, that's a really, really comfortable fit there. And there you go, that's the, uh, that's the veil system. Comes off your face a bit. Double ring system as well to keep it off your face. Of course, you know, it, the, it is a soft veil, that's so it can collapse down in, in your vehicle and doesn't develop a memory like the wire uh, veils do. But uh, very strong, as I said, I've got through a barbed wire fence and uh, been caught up in this veil and it hasn't ripped at all, so it's very strong. So there you go. And at the back there, you can see the ventilation. 
And that's for when you're uh, out in the sun, of course, it, it extracts all the heat and, uh, and so forth. So, once again, to remove the suit, like any other jacket, take your glock off, lift your uh, Velcro, undo your zip, and whether you need to do the zip up all the time, it's, it's up to you. I mean, you'll, you'll get used to it, and it, uh, it comes away like that. And of course, away you go. Now, to wash the suit, because it will get dirty without a doubt, to wash the suit, simply remove the, the uh, veil. And what I'll do now, I'll quickly remove that for you. As you can see, it'll just come around. And you bring the other zip around, and it just simply, slight little pull and away it comes. Now, that, that's just now been, been removed, and then you can put the other fencing type bar on it to light. Now what I do, I just throw that in the machine like that, or hang it over the clothesline and hose it, whatever you want to do. Um, of course, like any other bit of clothing, if you continually wash it in the machine, I dare say it will reduce the lifespan. I've washed mine many times and hosed it and things, and it hasn't deteriorated just yet. So, But like anything, you know, uh, it's fairly hardy, and I want it to be hard because I am hard on my tools and I want things to last, and that's and that's what you get with this suit. So it's quick sizing, small, about 150 to 170 centimetres in height, or, or children even, uh, 40 to 65 kilograms, medium, 160 to 170, 65 to 85 kilograms, large to XL, 170 to 200 centimetres, 85 to 110. Now, that's a large suit. I'm about 85 kilograms, just the top of the medium, but that large is fine on me. Uh, 2XL to 4XL, 200 plus to 110 kilograms plus. Don't forget when you're thinking about sizing, it goes over your clothes as well, okay? So depending on where you are, whether you want to wear a shirt or not. So that's another thing to keep in mind. I do have 5XL suits, and I also do custom made suits as well. So if you want to drop a line or discuss, duncan at dunkshoney.com.au or my web, or email, uh, sorry, my web address is dunkshoney.com.au. Thank you very much.